Hey guys, and welcome back to Factorio Somerset Blade Required with Arumba. Hey, saved Lion, Lion Iron 5 with 5 Stytons. Stytons! Uh, you were just saying between videos how the guy who makes Farl <laughs> is like the best ever. Fuck you! His spelling, his spelling needs some work. Stytons! But he is, he is a really good mod maker. Yeah. Yeah, we're the both pretty made, happy with yeah. Farl. The guy that made Farl made uh, smart trains, in case anyone was wondering. Hmm. Um... Right, so I want to try and do some smart trains things. Hey, yeah. surprise, surprise. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious exactly what exactly, like what's changed here with the smart mod, smart train mod, since last time? So am I. <laughs> oh, well that's, that's great, okay. <laughs> you you have no idea, you just heard there's a new version, you're like, I have oh, to have no it. Fucking clue. Uh, glorious. Right, so, okay. Well then. Um, what I'm going to try and do is... I'm going to try and set the... Trains to go back to the depot if they're full, as opposed to going to the next station. That would make sense. Yep. See, here's the way I normally do it. And this is why I've never really been a big fan of smart trains. I know you, <laughs> excuse me, I know you love them. But here's my method. I build a new station. Yep. I, I put a train down. That yep. train belongs to that station. It goes yep. between that station and the depot. And I set it up so that there's like four different depots, you know, and they all have the exact same name. And so the train just takes whichever one's open. Mm -hmm. it doesn't make any difference. So A to B, back to A to B, A to B, A to B. And then I use the mod, yet another resource monitor, to track the size of the deep the, the, of the deposits. And when I get a notification saying, hey, this deposit's dead, I go and I remove that train from the system. And then I just never have to worry about smart trains and all that stuff. Yeah, that's just less efficient. Oh, yeah, yeah sure, less efficient. Yeah. Well, it is. You're less efficient. <laughs> The thing is, it takes it'll take you less time to to get everything set up though, which is where the efficiency of that one of doing it like that comes in. I just find it fun. I know that's a, a weird concept, but okay. Well, God we're getting it, some some production production efficiency modules out now. Level threes. Cranking out some red circuits at this point, but, uh... Alright, so... Is this station 2? is... Uh... The only thing that I'm thinking right now is that this is going to be a pain in the ass whenever you add more stations. I was just saying my system's better. So no, I, I mean heard. the the thing that I'm going to do, like with the the leave when like if they're full, they just go straight back to the depot. Unless there's a way to do it. So they just go to the next station. So if you output... Input count. You output one. Then do that. I don't think I'm going to have any trains that are full after they leave the first iron station anyway, so I think we're fine with that one. Uh, I need to go down to iron three. 
Yeah, what I'm hoping for is that if if I'm, if I'm telling it to go to the station for the that corresponds to the signal number, I'm hoping that if there's no station that corresponds to the signal number, it'll just go to the next station. It should, I think, if I'm understanding what you're saying correctly. Hopefully, anyway. Instead of just freaking the fuck out and just sitting waiting for ages. Yeah. Boop, boop. You must need be nearby, or can you hear that boop boop boop? No matter where you are. Yeah, you can just hear it like regardless. Hmm. That was me then. So have you figured out what the new smart train says yet? Uh, no idea. Except, like, I think it, I think it's just, well, it's probably a load of bug fixes. There's been a lot since we, uh... Oh, shit. Um... Kind of fucked that one up, didn't I? Into... Delete that, delete that. Uh. Oh. Interesting. So it seems that that is not great. What did they do wrong now? I'm gonna I'm gonna stay in this train and just make sure, but I think that it does um, it goes to the depot if uh, if it gets a number that it doesn't like. Hmm. I'm not sure if it goes to the depot if it gets a number it doesn't like, or if it goes to the depot if it's full. I don't think so. I think it just goes to yeah. the depot if it gets a number it doesn't like. Crazy idea. You could just you could just not use smart trains and just do what I was saying. Then it would just go back and forth between the one station over and over again. And if you didn't have enough trains to cover that station, you just add another train to that station and then you'd have two trains on that station. No, and then no it mind. Just... Works. Works fine. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> it was just full, what? so it went back to the depot. That's all. Well, fine. Be that way. I don't, uh, I don't care. <laughs> Speed minus forty five percent. Yuck. <laughs> Pollution seventy six point five. Nice. That's horrible. It's a lot of extra pollution from triple production three modules in a electric mining drill. But we're getting an extra thirty percent ore out of the guy. Is it really? I mean, on an infinite map, it's just all this is really doing is saving us the time of having to set up new stations, isn't it? Yeah. Set up new stations is a pain in the ass. Yep. So hopefully when this fills up, which it's going to do from this station, it'll just go straight back to the depot. Hopefully. Which train? The train I'm on just now, which is... Apparently says it's moving to Iron 5? That's annoying. Well, it's not full. It's at 5683. Why didn't and it fill up, it... though? That's the question. Why did the light go off? Uh, did you... No, because they're oh. set... Yeah, they're, they're set to leave then. 
It was set to leave at 5,800, I thought. 5,800? Oh, yeah. So why did it leave a bit early? I don't know. What'd you do? You broke it, obviously. Strange. Very peculiar. Look at that. Now we're having a copper shortage. Wow. From, one, from one, one problem to the other. That's unexpected, actually. Yeah, it's really weird because we have 505,000 copper in the system. Okay, we're looking for... Oh, right, okay. Oh, it didn't bloody work. Right, now okay, I need to so see what happens. We only have one network of robots. There are 2,135 logistic robots. 1,800 of them are waiting to charge. Oh, wow. So we, uh, we seem to be lacking in quite a few. Yeah, it's RoboPorts. That's not, it's not that we don't have, obviously, the copper. We have half a million copper. But your whole logistic robot... That's <laughs> the, the robots. Is, they can't charge. Have a few more robot ports. So I've got 25 more I'll go put near the uh, area. Uh, trains Plus is giving me weird numbers. It says that there's like iron in a train that there's no iron in. Got it working the uh, the way it should do now. That's really cool. Hmm. The only other thing that I could do is get the the trains to go to a specific station, depending on how much, uh, like what station's got the most resources waiting. Yeah. That's an awful lot of work for, like, minimal bonuses. Being near these trains is terrifying. <laughs> I swear, they are going, they're going so fast right by me. There's so many robots in the air, I can barely see what I'm doing. So, I'm nervous now. Industrious! Right. The number of waiting robots is coming down rapidly. Only 1,100 are waiting to charge. That is What'd such a useful thing. I'm so glad. I, I don't want to I can't really take credit right but I got I gotta at least just mention the guy who made this logistics network mod did it because I complained about it and then he literally did it because I complained about it and he made it it's his, it's his deal right he made it way better than I even talked about but um it's a freaking awesome mod yeah now we're down to less than a thousand robots waiting to charge so we're catching up on charging we should see what did you the, do? Oh, I just added like 20 RoboPorts. Oh. <laughs> a ton of RoboPorts. But yeah, the 2,000 robots that we have are going to be far more efficient now. I still don't like where you put the logistic storage. So I'm going to do it different. Okay. Every time I've passed this fucking station, this train's been here. Why? I don't know, man. Trains are your baby. Oh, no, no mind. I thought it was broke. It just, it was a coincidence. So every single time you've come by, it's just a coincidence? <laughs> yeah, apparently so. It's probably more coincidental that I've only noticed it being there. Because it was there. That makes sense. That observation bias.
We have a lot of power. We do. We're doing great on power. Yeah, I just placed down some more. <laughs> yeah, I think both of us have been. Like, this is like, oh, I'll just, you know, I got this blueprint. Why not? Yeah. There's no harm in having extra. So, I mean, it does cost resources, but relatively small amount. Yeah. We do have an awful lot of extra power, though. Good. It's hard to, to know exactly, like, when we're going to need to build more or not. Yeah. Oh, is this you moving the, uh, the Maybe. logistic storage? No, don't put in my inventory, you morons. <laughs> I'm gonna turn off my roboport now, aren't I? My personal yeah. roboport. You see what I'm doing here, though? Look, yeah. I mean, you put the oh, storage fuck. just directly adjacent to it so that the robots, they can just go back and forth. Two tiles. One robot can move more than a hundred robots when you've got them this far away. Yep. And they don't care how close it is. The other thing is that like when when they're not taking from the passive or the active providers, they're they're taking it basically to where it's gonna need to go anyway. So yeah. you're not doubling up the work. Yep. So you agree completely and yet you did it wrong. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> now we have uh Yeah, we have a lot of robots still waiting to charge. They can charge really quick though. This number's coming down so fast. Wow. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna take I'm gonna just take my armor off. This is ridiculous. <laughs> These robots are being ridiculous. Ridiculous! Right, what do we need? What do we need? Do we need more iron? Or are we good with we need, iron just now? I think I think right now we need more well, I haven't checked oil in a while. How's the oil supply? Have you checked that? No, I'll head down there now. Oil but is thinking, empty. Right now. Yeah. It, it's it's either gonna be copper, iron, or oil, one of the three. Yeah. Well, like Tori will win it. Yeah. But um I, I'm my main goal right now is I'm just trying to get this thing squared away and then I want to Probably keep on trying to put productivity modules in the different things. We haven't worked towards Everything. trying to make ro the rocket parts at all lately. We could do that. Yeah, could do. What are we making right now that's using all of the resources? I don't know. We're using four and a half thousand oh, copper fuck? cable a minute. I mean, we're using three iron, three thousand one hundred iron a minute. Why is there this weird loop of blue circuits? Where? There's like a strange loop of both types of circuits. Oh, right, okay, I understand. It's if one side... Uh, no, I don't understand. Oh, you're talking about the blues going down to the, the module production? Yeah, there's like two strange loops. There's one that loops red circuits and one that loops blue circuits. Those are three-way splitters. 33, 33, 33. You take a four-way splitter, loop one of them back, turns it into a 33 each. Oh. Because you got like a regressive loop. Just follow the track. It'll make sense if you try to figure out the ratios. All right. You're just gonna take my word for it, aren't you? You're not gonna. Yep. No. Nope. You, you've already walked nope. away. Yep. Don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Too long. Didn't read. Oil. Ha <laughs> Uh, I need to, I need to grab an oil depot, or an oil uh, outpost. That's six. I don't even have any electronic circuits on me. Yeah, that's been a problem for me. I don't know if they're actually part of this, the, uh, the circuit net, like the, like, logistics network. Ah, they There's... mustn't be because I am requesting them. Yeah. But uh, it looks like it's that time again. 
Man, time flies. All right, no, no cool. Worries. Yeah, so uh, as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been CG, you've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See you soon.